Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. And guys, it is indeed Halloween. The Halloween event has started, and it's a little bit longer this time. Normally it's only 13 days. Looks like it's 15 days this year, which I've already gotten into it. I was playing this yesterday with my friend Dulakaba, and... He had let me know that it had already started. This is sometime after midnight, so I haven't had a chance to really even touch it until now. But looks like we're going to be doing the Frankenfish hunt. I'm hoping that we're going to have enough time. I think we might this time because we're going to do this through the fisherman instead of Fishing Planet. Fishing Planet is a little bit harder to do because you can't do the time changes as easily. Here you can, and traveling around is a lot easier. What it says here on Frankenfish Hunt, this is the first or the main mission right here. This is kind of like the overview mission, but basically it says rumor has it that there's an abominable monster fish that will devour anything alive, even humans. The only opportunity to summon and hunt it down is during this year's Halloween festivities. Head over to San Joaquin, find the island with the witching cauldron, and deal with the vile frankenfish. And if you get this completed, you will get yourself a nice little bit kayak called Monstrosity. Now to do it, you have to find the witching recipe book on Quanchkin, brew the potion of summoning, equip the slimy crank, and catch it. So we're a little bit far away from getting to that point yet. We are, however, going to be going to getting the book, which means we got to go back to Quanchkin. <laughs> We've already been there a little while ago. Uh, we have to go there, wait for midnight, catch catfish using sour bread, moldy cheese, and dried locusts. And see, you already see that I've got some of it. That's because that's held over from the last time I played, which is something that's nice. If you've gotten a certain distance before, you will uh, basically have start over where you left off. So if you don't finish this this year, you might be able to next year. But I am determined to get this, I swear to God. Well, let's go ahead and track this mission. And we should already be pretty well set up for Quanchkin Lake. Make sure I have, I should have everything I need. So we are gonna go down here. We are going to go ahead and give it a travel. Wait a minute, let me see if we have those special items. So I think we do. I don't think I'm going to have to add anything. Uh, baits, all right. Let's see, yeah, we got... Uh, you can pay gold for these items too. I'm not going to do that. In my inventory, I already have those. Let's see, I have... Oh, I don't have any of it in my thing so I'm gonna have to drop some things off here let's well yeah let's go ahead and put this clam meat in here let's see anything that we're not gonna need shrimps small minnows peas yeah, usually I carry these with me everywhere I go so but they're not this time not this time I should still have some of these items I've got the dried locusts uh, I've got the sour bread, and what was the other one? Moldy cheese, plenty of it, plenty of it. I've got tons of it. I got it coming on my wazoo. All right, now let's go ahead and get back. We are going to hunt these guys down. Quanchkin Lake. Now. Since we've got to get these guys, what we got to do, like I said, we got to wait for midnight and catch so many of these. Then we have to, I'm not sure what we do after that. I guess we just get the witch, witching recipe book. I'm not sure. Don't remember. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get in there. Let's see, the best catfishing place, probably down south. No, 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 no. Swampy open space. That's where we're going to go. All right. I don't know if I've got people joining me, but yep, there's a few people. 
Let's go ahead, advance time to midnight. Because this isn't going to do us any good. Wait a minute. That's not right. Midnight. There we go. Now we're going to come in here. Ooh. See if we got something in our pumpkin here. We got some frogs. Cool. See, I've already got this marked. It's not as dark either, which is kind of good. I am going to have to get rid of that because that's kind of in the way, guys. It's blocking your view. Now I'm going to set my rod pod up here, right? Rot cheer. And we're going to do some bottom fishing. On this first one, we're going to put, uh, let's see, moldy bread, maybe? Moldy cheese, I mean. Moldy cheese. And on this one, sour bread. So we got to get six of these. Hello, miss. Who's casting into my... All right. Yeah, it's going to get a little irritating. <laughs> and we'll toss that one out there. I've got a nice marker there. Should be able to get something from that. And then on this side, I'm going to... There is somebody there I cannot see. They are invisible. And dry locus. There we go. I've covered all corners. Hopefully something is going to go after these. I mean, they're supposed to. Sounds like I got a bike. Hold on just a minute, guys. Yep, number one. This is off moldy cheese. And that makes four off moldy cheese. I am going to size this hook down just a little bit. I think four off, maybe a little. I mean, yeah, you can catch them, but we're not really trying to get big ones. We're just trying to get catfish at this point. Okay, that one is pretty good, but I think I might... Put that a little bit closer to the left. Too much on top of each other there. There we go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. All right, guys. I will tell you right now, I'm probably going to advance time a little bit because I'm not really catching a whole lot after midnight, but, you know, I think a lot of that might have to do with the fact that we are seriously at the bottom of a peak. So, getting here past midnight <laughs> doesn't help a whole lot. But what we're going to go ahead and do, let me check to make sure that mission is correct about the midnight. It says, wait for midnight, travel to Quanchkin. Well, I, it's what it says to do, so we really don't have a whole lot of choice. But we are going to go ahead, I'm going to take you around here and show you a few things.
Because I already you already saw that I could get uh, one thing over there. We're gonna come over here because there's uh, some items that we can pick up, and we might as well get them while we're here. Some free stuff is always good. So we got a jawbone. No idea what that's for. Maybe you put it together, and make something. I don't know, but there's something else down here too. There's a lot of pumpkins here at Quanchkin. So, I'm going to check them all out. There's one right here. Got a candle end. Not sure what these are for. I don't think there's any at that end, but let me check the map here. Saw one, might have been over here. Let me make sure. No, it's over on that end. There it is. There's a pumpkin over there. There might be one over here, too. No, it's just over here. Yeah, I'm getting all the free goodies, believe me. Pig's eye! Yeah, we're going to need that for later. I think I'm getting low on them, honestly. But, yeah, I think that's all the free stuff you can get here. Now we need to go back to the map. And we're going to... I think I'm going to fish over here this time. I've always had a little more luck. Now, I'm going to give it a chance here. At this time. And if it doesn't do anything in the next minute or two, I am going to go ahead... And advance time to three because there is a bit more of a peak and maybe we'll get a little bit more action that way. Yeah, there was also a lot of people roaming around the map and it was starting to get kind of hard to record. So I kind of had to come to a private map. I'm just going to throw this out and see what this does first. See if we get any action. Is this another good catfish location? And see if it's just as good or worse or, well, who knows. But let's just wait and see what it does. If nothing much happens. We'll advance time a little bit. All right, guys. I think we are going to advance time. I am not getting that many bites at all. It's like really dead. No pun intended. Let's go to 3 a.m. Let's put our rod pot out here. See if this makes any difference. It may just be tougher to get them this time. I mean, honestly, are you kidding me? And that's what I'm going to keep doing here. It's going to be ridiculous. Keep getting snags. You have got a snag. <laughs> okay. Aha. There we go. Which one is it? It's number two. See, we got this is off moldy bread. There we go. That's our first one off the sour bread. Yeah, I think it might have been a good idea advancing time like we, we did. Gives us less time to fish, but we can always go to the next day. You can't do that in regular f Fishing Planet Classic. It would take so much longer. So we got number one doing it now. Yep, that is definitely true. I mean, I love Fishy Planet Classic, don't get me wrong. But we wouldn't be going through this this fast. Now 
The window of opportunity is very, very slight. Uh, that's not even the right kind of fish. Damn it. <laughs> you little bugger. White bass. That's probably what was packing in it earlier. All right, looks like we got something on number one. That's the moldy bread. No, it's the moldy cheese. That's the last of the ones for the moldy cheese. That completes that one. Young channel catfish. Now we're going to need to change this bait because we don't need that anymore. It seems like the dried locusts are the hardest, one to hardest ones to catch anything off of. So that's what we're going to have to focus on eventually. I bet you that's going to be what's left. I've gotten only white bass off of this so far. Let me make sure that I've got that set. Yeah, I've got it set to the... Let's try it closer to 99. Maybe I've got it too far out. I doubt it, but... There we go. We got one on here. I didn't even see it go under. But I think we might have got our first off the dried locust. There we go. It's about time. They're not as fond of that as they are that moldy cheese, because that moldy cheese stinks. Catfish loves something that stinks, I'll tell you that. The moldy bread probably stinks a little bit, too. Well, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to keep at this. And when we finally get to just about completing this, I will bring you back. And then we'll go on to the next step of this mission. I don't think it's going to take too long. It's going to take a little while. Ah. Well, there you go, guys. That's something I forgot about. That's another thing you can catch here during this event. The bluegill skeleton. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking, isn't it? You want to take a look at him? Let me see here. There we go. Not a lot of meat on him, is there? <laughs> no meat on him, actually. That's funny. Yeah, I like the bluegill skeletons. Can't really see him very well, though. Alright, we'll keep him. That's worth two cash. That one is going nuts. It looks like we got one on each one. Now we're talking. Nope, we got another bluegill. I think this one's more what we're after here. Oh, gosh. A lot more than what we're after, apparently. That's a regular channel. So that takes it down to two. Yeah, the dried locusts are a little more popular with the various species here, unfortunately. So you're going to get more chances of other things grabbing onto it. Okay, sour bread. If we can just get some off of that too.
Okay, looks like we're getting a bite on something. Come on. Yeah, it looks like it's number two. It is the dried locust, but I'm no avocado. That makes three. That makes a snag. It's not going to catch anything that missed the hole altogether. Looks like we got two bites this time, guys. Three bites. <clears throat> Talk about when it rains, it pours. Jeez. The hell's up with that? Okay, this one's a big fish. I don't think it matters what kind of fish it is, just as long as it's a catfish. It's a flathead. Let's try to get this one. Holy crap! Got another one. Yeah, I don't think it matters what kind of catfish it is. We just have to catch a catfish. I'll find out for sure. I didn't see if the other one flipped around, but this is definitely a flathead. Yet, yeah, does not matter. Another flathead. Unfortunately, we lost one of them, so couldn't get to it quick enough. But, he came back. Now we're talking. We got just another hour of time here. We might be able to get all this. If things keep going the way they are. Well, looks like it's number one. Number two, I, was, I mean, my... Float rod, I was getting a bite, but he seemed to quit. This is off of another sour bread. So now they're tied. Now let me reel this in a little bit. We're going to recast that. I keep trying to move things around because I can't tell half the time if I'm hitting the hole. Yeah, that's the hole for sure. Eight feet. It's not a very big hole. That's the problem. Yeah, we're still a good ways away though, guys. We may actually end up having to go into the next day to complete this. Two more is all I need, guys, but I have a feeling we're going to end up having to wait. Can you believe that? I believe we're going to end up having to wait. Unless we catch two catfish in the next... 12 minutes of in-game time. Come on, don't play around with me this time. Just take the darn thing. Alright guys, I am back and as soon as it hit 5 a.m. it started raining. I mean instantly. And the only thing is, is I don't know if any of these are going to count. We're going to give it a test, but usually when it rains, that is a great time for catching flathead catfish. So I don't know if we're going to have any luck at this point or not, honestly. Because uh, flatheads don't, 
I don't think they go for the sour bread, to be honest. They did go for uh, the smelly cheese and whatnot, but I don't know. If nothing happens and I catch a catfish, I think we're going to pretty much make that determination here real soon. Because this could be just us floundering in the wind. Yeah, I'm a little too close to those other two. I think I'm going to come over here to the left a little bit. Well, I'm getting a bite. We'll s hopefully we can test this theory, see what happens. It counts. Awesome. It makes all the difference in the world because I just got another bite. This might be it, guys. Yep, there you go. Get the book. We can now get the book. So great job, you got the Quanchkin Witch's recipe book. Time to search for the ingredients and in potion. All right, so we got a San Juan Key Pass for one day. We already have a pass to them. New mission: a potion of summoning. Whoa, that was one tricky recipe. Looks like you're in for a real scavenger hunt and plenty of fishing adventures to collect all the necessary items for brewing the Frankenfish Summoning Potion. As soon as you got all the magic ingredients, according to the Witching Recipe Book, find the Witching Cauldron in San Joaquin and brew this Potion of Summoning. So we got Vein Line. Ooh, that's gross. And a Pumpkin Bobber. We got those as a reward. We got six... 1660 cash for that. So we need to. Well, that's probably the last one. We need to get Mandrake Roots to the cauldron. Where the heck am I going to find all these? <laughs> oh, these are each new missions. Oh boy. So, holy crikeys. This is going to be tough, guys. We got to get. Mandrake roots. So we gotta go with Falcon, a jar of fish eyes to the Everglades. Bluegill skeleton tail at St. Croix. Oh my goodness. Oh man. So you gotta use specific types of baits. Ogre scale. Albino Yeti Gills. Well, some of these take place in the Everglades. So, it looks like we gotta equip the Eagle Claw Hook. So, do we have that? Because if we do, we can start on it. My gosh, this is gonna be intense. Holy crikeys, that is unbelievable. So we can't even start that yet. This is, let's see, this is in Falcon. That's the Everglades. Where's the ghost essence? I guess it doesn't matter where those are caught. Bluegill skeleton in St. Croix. Green Ogre Scale, that's Naharan, Everglades, so we're already in Quanchkin. We might as well go ahead with the Black Vampire Fin. It's three gold, 6,666. Duh, I just now caught that. That's pretty bad, guys. Let's track this one. Now, I don't know if I have an Eagle Claw Hook, but anyway, guys, I don't think I'm in the right spot to catch the black vampire fin and I don't have an eagle claw hook I don't think let me see here no I do not so I need to go to the shop let's see if they have them here 
let's see here. Lines, reels, terminal tackle. Here we go. Hooks. Eagle claw hook. There it is. It's two gold. Ugh. I guess I I don't think I have any. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. We're going to check this out in the next adventure here. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.